The DBX 707 is a performance version of Aston Martin's SUV. The revised V8 engine has 697 horsepower and works with a new 9-speed gearbox. Aston Martin has been promising a faster version of the DBX since the regular one launched, and this is most definitely it. Based on manufacturer claims, the new 2023 DBX 707 is set to be the quickest performance SUV on the market, with Aston CEO Tobias Mowers saying the company hopes to prove that by setting the corresponding record on the Nürburgring. Positioned above the standard DBX, which will continue to be sold alongside it, the DBX 707 has been given a substantial power upgrade thanks to an upgraded version of the 4.0-liter AMG V8 that Aston says it has substantially engineered in-house. The engine uses new ball-bearing turbochargers and a revised calibration to boost output to 697 horsepower. The 707 name refers to metric horsepower, that's 155 HP more than the regular DBX, and means the DBX 707 outguns such luminaries as the 626 HP Bentley Bentega W12 speed, the 641 HP Lamborghini Urus, and even the 670 HP Porsche Cayenne Turbo SE Hybrid. Mowers admitted that the Porsche was Aston's benchmark target when he introduced journalists to the new car. The DBX 707's torque output has risen too, with a new peak of 663 pound-feet, and the 707 swaps out the conventional 9-speed automatic transmission in the regular DBX to AMG snappier 9-speed gearbox with a wet clutch pack instead of a torque converter. This will allow for quicker gear changes and launch control starts, with a shorter final drive ratio meaning the 707 is claimed to be capable of a 3.1-second sprint to 60 mph. This would tie our result for the Lamborghini Urus, which is the quickest SUV we've ever tested given that improbable level of performance and Mower's desire for Nürburgring glory. It's no surprise that the DBX 707 will have standard carbon ceramic brakes with huge 16.5-inch rotors at the front and 15.4-inch discs at the rear. 22-inch wheels will be standard and 23-inchers an option. These will wear Pirelli tires, but Mowers says that any attempt to break the K and Turbo S's 7,38.9 Nürburgring time will be on more aggressive track-biased rubber. At the end of the day, it's a tire test. Beyond the new wheels, visual distinctions for the DBX 707 include a bigger front bumper with an even larger front grille, dark window surrounds in place of chrome trim, and a massive diffuser element at the back with quad exhaust tips. The interior gets new sport seats, although the DBX regular comfort seats will remain a no-cost option, plus a revised center console with a rotary gear selector. There are also new shortcut buttons for various drive modes on the lower console, meaning drivers won't have to use the infotainment system to tweak settings for the adaptive suspension, stability control, active exhaust system, and gearbox. Although the DBX 707 still uses Aston's existing infotainment system, the one based on Mercedes' last-generation star architecture, Mowers also promises that development of a bespoke Aston user interface is underway. We cannot change the nav system, that takes a while, but we are creating a bespoke nav system and HMI for Aston without any more usage of Mercedes, he promises. Mowers is also bullish on the DBX 707's sales prospects, surmising that the 707 could make up around 60% of all DBX sales. This is despite a $235,086 price tag, which makes it more than $50,000 more expensive than the standard car. Production will start before the end of the first quarter of 2022. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.